I'm going to be honest with you, my friends. It was a bit of a stressful summer for me, and about a month ago, I was in desperate need of some rest and reflection. So I packed up my grandma and the kids, and we found ourselves at the Sleeping Lady Resort in Leavenworth. This picture here is from Condé Nast Traveler. Well, as soon as we arrived, I knew this place was special, but what I didn't know was that the refuge I had found was actually established by the same family that created my home here at King Five. Here to tell us all about the Sleeping Lady Resort is General Manager Chuck Sharinga. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Glad to see you. I'm, we met at the, at the resort, but it's truly lovely place. I loved it. Tell me about the Sleeping Lady and the person behind the sanctuary. So Harriet Bullitt and her family obviously started King Five a long time ago. Um, and uh, she sort of retired to Leavenworth and mm -hmm. The resort started um, a long time ago mm -hmm. as a Conservation Corps of Engineers, and they're the ones that helped build the hatchery and contributed to the Grand Coulee Dam, things of that nature. And then it became a dude ranch for a little while, and then it was a Catholic youth camp for many, many years. Wow. And in the early 80s, um, it sort of closed shop, and uh, the Catholic Church went to Harriet, who lived across the river, and said, would you like to buy this? And she did. Yeah. And it sat pretty much empty for quite a few years and mm -hmm. she decided to do something with it. and it started out as a retreat center in the late 90s and uh, opened uh, as a retreat center and originally you know in, mm -hmm. you couldn't have stayed there unless you're with a, a group or um, a company of some sort but now you can anyone can stay mm -hmm. there and it is so beautiful now speaking of Harriet Bullet I love that there are so many King 5 artifacts all around the property I can I can tell that the people in the booth right now I'm sure are going oh my gosh because if you worked at King 5 on Dexter in our old building this is part of the fountain that we oh, yeah. stared at for years it's a sculpture I think is it the Tusura sculpture Shudakawa. and it's beautiful I mean I was never mm -hmm. <laughs> I loved this sculpture but you've also brought it into other parts of of the ranch, I right. guess, or, or the resort. Like, this is a sculpture, and I went, those rings look familiar. Mm -hmm. But of course, my favorite is the Kingstones. Uh -huh. uh, it is so magical to see the Kingstones in the middle of a meadow. <laughs> they used to be in front of our TV station, yep. um, but it's really neat to see this in the middle of a meadow. I mean, it really just, it is so beautiful that all of this comes together. Now, let's talk about the Icicle Fund, mm -hmm. because that is, what I think is so beautiful about the resort as well. What is it and, and how does the, the resort help support it? Well, one of the things I just love about this role that I have is that I worked for 25 years for Starwood Hotels and Resorts mm -hmm. in a corporate environment. And when I was approached to take this job, I realized that I am actually, the, the money that we make mm -hmm. goes directly to the Icicle Fund and helps further their mission uh, to really supporting the arts, the environment, and history, and indigenous peoples in North Central Washington. So anytime anyone stays, mm -hmm. the profits goes directly to the Icicle Fund to support their mission. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And so it's only taking care of the grounds and supporting the Icicle Fund. And speaking of the grounds, let's talk about this. Um, we're, it's a resort and there are, Delicious restaurants, mm -hmm. two places to eat. Uh, lovely, They're, the cocktails at the, the the grotto. At the grotto, oh my gosh, <laughs> they were so good. They were so good. Um, tell me a little bit about what you see as some of the most beautiful features of the place. There's even a game room. I forgot to mention that. Yes, the play barn. So uh, to me, it's about the serenity. You talked about it. Mm -hmm. It's a great place to retreat. Yeah. And unwind and disconnect. But we're close to Leavenworth, so if you want to get a little bit of excitement and go down and do some shopping and go to the number of restaurants that are there, yeah. um, but you can always come back to the retreat and the quiet mm -hmm. and the dark. Um, that's the one thing that you can really see is you look up and you see stars. You see stars. And there's deer. You probably saw deer all around. Yes. Uh, bears, you know, all kinds of wildlife. And it's just a great place to come and disconnect yeah. and have a sense of serenity and peace. Mm. And it is such a great time of year because it's still warm and it's nice. Mm -hmm. And there in the pool area even, I mean, everything is very a nod to nature. It's like built into the mountain. It's mm -hmm. just so lovely. I cannot wait to come back. So We want you to come back. I am, I'll be back anytime. Thank you so much for coming all the way here, Chuck. Thank you. All right, I hope you all go check it out too because it is an amazing, an amazing place. Oh, thank winter. You. I can't wait to come in winter. Winter is a great time to come. And, wait a minute, Oktoberfest is coming too, right? Yep, in October. All right. <laughs> well, you better go and get your reservations now, my friends.